These three advanced rondo drills will certainly give your teams a challenge. Let me know how you get on. First up is the 4v2 transition rondo. Split your area in half with two teams of four to five. You can adjust the size to meet your team's requirements. The larger the area, the easier the drill, and the smaller the area, the harder the drill. One team will be the possessing team and attempt to keep the ball in their half with five passes equaling one point. If the possessing team can play a pass that splits the defenders, that will also equal a point. Two defenders are allowed into the area to try and win the ball back, with the other two defenders starting in their respective half. The defending team must try to win the ball back and pass it back to their teammates in their own half to become the possessing team, and then they can start scoring points. If the ball goes out of bounds off the possessing team, then the defending team will become the possessing team. If the ball goes out off the defending team, then the possessing team will regain control of the ball, however their pass tally will go back to zero. You can also adjust the amount of defenders you want going into this area to make it harder or easier as well. Next up is the 5v2 rondo. This drill focuses on one of the hardest skills to learn in soccer, finding space between the defensive lines. Once you have set up your area and placed your two goals in opposite corners, designate five players to be the possessing team with two players as the defending team. One player from the possessing team will act as a central player and operate the space in between the two defenders. In this example, the number seven is acting as a central player. If the possessing team is able to make five passes, they will gain one point. However, if the team is able to pass the ball to the central player and then the central player is able to pass to a different player, that will be worth one point as well. If the defending team is able to win the ball back and score a goal, or if the ball goes out of bounds and the last touch comes off the possessing team, they will get one point. The team with the most amount of points will be the winner. To make the drill more challenging or easier, you can increase or decrease the size of the area, add or take away an extra defender, introduce or remove an extra possession player. Arguably the most challenging out of the three rondos is a three-team possession rondo. Not only are players having to keep possession of the ball under pressure, they must also look to play and receive the ball through defensive lines. Set up your area and split it into thirds with three teams of four. The teams dying in the outside thirds will be the possessing teams, with the team in the middle thirds dying as the defending team. If one of the possessing teams has the ball, two of the defenders can enter into the area to try and win the ball back. If a possessing team is able to successfully make five passes and switch the play to the other possessing team, they will get one point. The defenders in the middle can also attempt to intercept the switch of play. If the defending team wins the ball, either through the defenders winning the ball back or if the ball goes out of bounds off the possessing team, they will swap with the possessing team that gave away possession. If the defenders kick the ball out of bounds, the possessing team will regain possession of the ball, however their pass count will start at zero. If the ball goes out of bounds, the coach will restart play to ensure a quick transition. The video on your screen now are Rondo's ideal for beginner teams. Like, subscribe, peace.